members of parliament swear an oath of office uh, and we are bound by that oath of office one of which means to hold up the constitution and the values of the constitution in what constitutional democracy in the world would an elected public representative be allowed to openly and publicly incite racial warfare? The DA simply cannot allow this to happen and this kind of rhetoric has no place in our country we'll be laying these charges and then immediately we'll be calling on the Minister of Police Becky Clearly uh, to act against Malema and Paulson and ensure that their war talk inciting to violence and um, the fact that they are posting pictures on Facebook of uh, military-grade machinery and ammunition, which is in a violation of the Gun Control Act, um, are investigated criminally. Well, the fact of the matter is any incitement to violence in our country is, is a criminal charge. Uh, any any uh, fact that you have a, 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 a weapon, such as an AK-47 or a semi-automatic uh, machine gun, no, civil, no civilian in South Africa may, may be in possession of that kind of weapon. So the fact that they're placing these pictures on face, on uh, Twitter and openly, you know, proudly showing that the, the, these weapons are in their possession is, is a criminal offence. But most importantly, incitement to violence is a criminal offence. There's a series of actions that can be taken. Once an MP has broken the oath of office, uh, so ticks in a, a whole series of events that could, uh, if the member is found to have in fact broken the oath of office, uh, have them removed as a sitting member of parliament. And certainly uh, anyone inciting a racial war in South Africa has no place in the democratic parliament of South Africa. But I don't think there's a case uh, to be to be followed uh, per se. We'll uh, await someone from a court or being charged by a sheriff and we'll see how far that goes. But in our view, there's no case. It's simply a publicity stand by the Democratic Alliance. And of course, it's very hypocritical as well. Because it was the very same leader of the DA currently, John Steenhazen, who encouraged one Ernst Roots, who posted himself practicing shooting uh, on Twitter. And he said, congratulations, or well done, or something along those lines. It was Peter Hunewald in Parliament who threatened war should government proceed with the legislative process of expropriation of land without compensation. So there's a hypocrisy of, in this country of who can declare war, who has a legitimacy over violence, and who can actually say that they're going to defend their rights or their well-beings. And this is never called out. Why has the Democratic Alliance not pursued a case against those who are causing chaos at Senegal court? So these are, this is a hypocrisy that is pervasive in South African society. Those with a white skin seem to be able to operate with impunity while black people are constantly condemned, met with violence once they fight for their rights. We can see, with, we can see it with how the farmers at Senegal are characterized. They are called aggrieved farmers who are protesting for a justifiable cause. This was not done for Marikana workers. This was not done for FISMA wall activists. It was irresponsible behavior from an MP. It, I'm not surprised. This is vintage Julius Palema. He's done it on many occasions before. We as a country have allowed him to get away with it. Uh, the Human Rights Commission has allowed him to get away with it. Government and Parliament have allowed him to get away with it. I do think there's a problem with the way uh, the white farmers have behaved in Senegal. There's no question about it. However legitimate your cause, what you do not have the right to do is break into a courthouse uh, and burn uh, a police vehicle. People need to be identified. They need to be charged uh, and they need to be to be arrested.